Hi, I'm Russell Latipi, and you're looking at Extra Time TV. Andre, the silly season is like Christmas time. Yes. Players can be bought, sold, loaned. It's all up for grabs. Yep, it's Christmas time for Everton because yeah. Rooney is there. So find out about this AC Milan, Lukaku and Mourinho reuniting yeah. in one minute. So hey everyone, welcome to another special episode of Extra Time TV. We are here at the Raw Fitness Centre in Gasparolo. Yeah. This is Andres Oglala. I'm Kevin Campbell. And the transfer time is here again. As Kevin said, it's Christmas time for footballers and club owners and fans and all you fantasy league guys who want to have your teams. Yeah. So, we're going to start things off, Kevin. The big one that everybody's talking about. Yeah. Lukaku has reunited with Jose Mourinho at Manchester United. Yeah. A lot of people are saying it's a crazy idea. I think some of the reports say, you know, why would you go to a club where the coach rejected you a couple of times? But no matter what, if the deal is done, Lukaku is at Manchester United. Kevon, what do you think about that move? All eyes are on Liverpool, England, because Everton is at the focal point of the transfer season yeah. thus far. And Romelu Lukaku, the six foot three inch Belgian who can speak what, like five languages, yeah. is on his way to Manchester. And he's going to be one of the biggest transfers in Premier League history. It could even eclipse the power transfer if you look at add-ons as well. Mm -hmm. But Andre, Ronald Lukaku is a guy, he played with Mourinho at Chelsea. But when he left, he wasn't sold. He wanted to go to get first team football. So the relationship with himself and Mourinho is still very good. And Mu wants him. I mean, in the past, you had know, looked at maybe Morata, Umeyang, but Lukaku is their man. Yeah. And Lukaku comes in with um, a lot of responsibility because he's 24, but he has bagged a boatload of goals in the Premiership seasons in the past because I think he's like third or second on the list of top Premier League goal scorers over the past four years. Yeah. I think only Harry Kane and um, Kun Aguero has more goals yeah. than Lukaku. He's a good player, number one for Belgium up front. And he's that physical presence. He's also quick, that can score a bag of goals with either feet. Either foot. But I see it where, in the instance, Lukaku is the kind of guy that he likes to run on to play. And he has played in teams thus far that play counter attacking football. Manchester United, as we saw last season, they spent a lot of time in the attacking third. Yeah. So maybe a player who can control the ball better and be better in tight spaces would have been maybe more of an asset. Mm -hmm. Whilst Lukaku, his first touch isn't the best. So not to knock on him, but that can be something that he needs to improve on. But to improve, I think he can because he's still quite young at 24. Yep, and he has a very impressive uh, work ethic. Yeah. And he's generally dynamic. And as I just said, um, I also, well, Kevon touched on it already. Uh, the first touch is an area always. And I think Mourinho mentioned that a couple of times. And, uh, you know, they had some little banter over the media. But I guess, obviously, we live in a professional world, a professional football. You know, these guys, you know, it's business. So, you know, whatever few they have, they obviously will be willing to put it aside yeah. to play. Um, we also know it's a human game, so there's the element that it may boil over again. Manchester United have been trying to solve this striker problem since uh, David, David Moyes, uh, Van Gaal. They brought in strikers and it hasn't quite worked. Um, they haven't had that guy who just bangs in the goals all the time. Yeah. And uh, it, you know, it looks like Lukaku is that guy for Jose Mourinho. Uh, maybe he's trying to turn him into the, the Milito type character when he was at Inter. Um, I, I notice he favours those type of players um, I, with those sort of characteristics. I remember when he was at Real Madrid, he brought in Adebayo yeah. for a little while. He didn't keep him and he suggested that he should go back to Tottenham or whatever it was. I can't remember right now. But it seems as if Jose Mourinho, and everybody who knows Jose Mourinho, he has a very specific style of play. Um, I think it will be okay. I think Jose Mourinho probably needs a couple wide players and midfielders to sharpen things up. Beckham. Yeah, David Beckham. Hi, Jose. Ryan Giggs will come back. He has done it before. Yeah. Scholes, who knows? Scholesy. But uh, I think it's a very exciting move uh, for Manchester United fans. Uh, Jose Mourinho is starting to mold the team the way he likes it. I said at the beginning of last season that you know Mourinho is going to need, he's a two-season man. Yeah. Uh, who knows, if he stays at Manchester more than three seasons, I would be totally shocked. But that's the plan. I think that his plan was to do that at Chelsea, it didn't work out. So we'll see how that goes, Kevon. With that being said, do you think Lukaku is the man to solve the goal-scoring problem that they have? Because they haven't really been banging in the goals. Yeah. The last couple of seasons. Um, I think he'll play. I think he'll score goals, but he isn't a Diego Milito. No. He isn't a guy who would, who would thrive on scraps. He needs good service. So if United, and again, this United team, it's not as cohesive as previous teams. They're not at a level because there's still a lot of components to this team that still needs work. I mean, you can't just roll out this team and expect them to play fluently yep. because you see that hey, Miffy plays this way. If Pogba's there, if Herrera's passing the ball around, but if Fellaini's there, it's a whole different mindset of the team. So they need to have a proper uh, momentum going forward. And if they can't provide that, 
Lukaku could struggle. But if United can play more as a team and more as a common system and play towards a specific goal and a specific, and a specific style, sorry, then Lukaku will perform well. But on a side note, Mino Raiola, he is the super agent. Super agent, man. Also the agent of Lukaku, Pogba, Mkhitaryan, and Zlatan. So when you look at that, it makes sense for him to just be in Manchester because, hey, all his clients are in Manchester, so... Convenient. Yeah. You know? Okay, guys, so that wraps things up of this episode of Extra Time TV. Be sure to tune in next time and like and subscribe. Check us out below.